This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 477 of the Stable Scoop Show. Please support our sponsors as they make this show possible. Our sponsors this week are Horselovers.com, Dr. Rose's Remedies, and you, our terrific auditors. The semifinalists are announced for Equestrians Have Talent. Travel agent Michelle answers some final questions for the Horse Lovers Cruise, where there's still spots available. And the Horselovers.com listener product review of the week is the Lamisel Full Shock Absorbing Memory Pad. Well, welcome back to the Stable Scoop Show, everybody. It's good to have you back. I am so excited that we're announcing the finalists for Equestrians Have Talent. We're getting Kristen on right now to find out who the finalists are and to announce what they have to do to compete in the finals. Well, we welcome Kristen back to the Stable Scoop Show because we have now completed all the rounds of Equestrians Have Talent, and we have the three weekly winners who are now being notified that they have to come up with a another talent or another song or whatever for the finals, which is going to happen in two weeks. There'll be no Stable Scoop show next week, but in two weeks, we'll be back with the finals of the Equestrians Have Talent on Stable Scoop. So let's talk about that. Uh, week one was won by who? Abby Badurtha, who sang Cowboy and Me, and I believe she accompanied herself on the piano. Very well, nice. Why don't we hear a little bit of that? This is Abby Badurtha from week one, Cowboy and Me. Sometimes I'm my own worst enemy. I guess that's just the cowboy. Congratulations, Abby. Well done. She's she's so good. <laughs> it's like Yeah. Do you feel inadequate after these, by the way? I do. I but, do. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, every equestrian had so much talent. And I'm like, you know, it's a good day if I can just get on my horse. And right. Well, sing <laughs> so a can, song. So. If I can pick feet successfully, <laughs> I'm happy. And then week two was won by it was Allison L. Frank on the piano. Oh, Very you forgot talented. the Miss Perfect Allison L. Frank oh, on the piano. So sorry. That's, can, correct Perfect, that. Start Allison that over. Let me do that again. Week two was won by <laughs> Miss Perfect Allison L. Frank on the piano. <laughs> Who hates when we call her that, by the way? <laughs> so <laughs> that's why we do it. Let's listen to a little bit of her rendition. She is talented. You know, we we joke about her being perfect because she like has this perfect little life, but uh, she's really good too. So I mean, she's talented. <laughs> she earns it. Yeah, she, she earns, earns it. And then I am so excited about week three, and I'll tell you why in a second. But who was the winner of week three? That was A.K. Moss with Glenn's Cowboy Hat. That's right. A.K. Moss, who is Kathy Moss, by the way. She's an author, has written books, and you can find her books on Amazon at A.K. Moss. Just search for her name on there, and you'll find them. And she just, she was so kind, Kristen. She sent Jennifer and I a care package after the hurricane that had all kinds of fun stuff in it, including they own a meat company, and she sent me the best beef jerky I've probably ever had. So, and, and she sent us jams and all kinds of stuff it was so kind of her to do that's so. very nice all the stuff you need when your fridge doesn't work right? that's right well let's hear a little bit of what she did when glenn was a lad a cowboy was his dream he had watched all the movies and so it would seem he had a cowboy hat a badge and a trike for his horse these were all his necessities for his dream of course Now his ma had prided herself in his cute cowboy ways, how he would take his hat and trike. On warm, sunny days, he'd play for hours in the yard, all fenced in. His ma, for safety, would check on him every now and then. 
Well, and, you know, I want to clarify that this was voted on by the listeners, so I didn't pick her just because she talked about my cowboy hat. So, uh-huh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, there was no... No nepo- bribery. No bribery, t- bribery or nepotism there at all. So Completely separate. <laughs> now, those three, you three, have to now come up with another one. We're, and I'll, you'll be getting notifications about that today. You have to come up with another one and send it in, and then the listeners will vote on the ultimate winner. And the ultimate winner will receive the trophy with one of our actual mics on top. It is a unique original trophy that I'm probably going to make in the garage by myself. So, uh... <laughs> So I can't. That's gu- Glenn's talent. Yeah, I can't guarantee what it's going to look like in the end, but uh, it will be unique. We can promise you that. <laughs> One of a kind. <laughs> One of a kind. <laughs> and that'll be coming to the winner. And plus, you'll have the right to say that you are the 2017 Equestrians Have Talent Champion. And this has been so much fun. I think we should just do it every year. I think it'll get bigger oh, and bigger yeah. and more fun every year. I'm super excited for the finals, you guys. So make yes. It good. I am too. I'm You're going to sure come back, will, right? Kristen, you're great. coming back for that. For sure. And Horse Nation, thank you so much to Horse Nation for participating and helping to do the, to do everything that was involved in it, really, to do the uh, voting and to p- put it out there. We really appreciate your, your efforts as well. Well, right after this word from Dr. Roses, we have Michelle from MEI Travel answering some last-minute listener questions who are looking at signing up for the Horse Lovers Cruise in 2018 in February. And we still have some spots open, so we'll talk about that. And then we have our product review from horselovers.com coming up at the end of the show. Dr. Rose's Remedies Skin Treatment Salve and Spray are 100% all-natural products. They are anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. Dr. Rose's are made with all human-grade ingredients and are safe and effective for treatment for all manner of cuts and scrapes on your horse. And Dr. Rose's is the must-have product here at the Horse Radio Network headquarters to keep PT Scooter's delicate white pasterns free from dew poisoning and scratches. Ask for Dr. Rose's at your local tax store or feed supplier or visit them online at drrosesremedies.com. That's drrosesremedies.com. Well, everybody, Glenn the Geek here, founder of the Horse Radio Network, and I am so excited to have Michelle from MEI Travel with us. This is the last time we're going to talk to you about your chance to join us on the Horse Lovers Cruise 2018. Hi, Michelle. Hi, good morning. We, it's been a couple of months since we talked on the air, and I, I got to cool. tell you, we're so excited. We have over 50 people signed up to join us. It's awesome, we, and we keep adding them. I get, you know, once a week at least a couple inquiries, so we're keeping adding people, which is great. And you can still join, which is what we're kind of hitting hitting the ground running with today. You can still join. Go to horseloverscruise.com and you will find all the details. We're going to talk to you a little bit about what's coming up. They have until about Thanksgiving to really book under the group at this point, right? That's correct. And uh, you'll see that like when we first started, we had some pricing out there. That's still up online that you can look at. Those are kind of the lead-in rates. Those aren't firm rates, though. We still have space on the ship. So you'll have to contact me directly based on the cabin type you want so I can actually give you official pricing. So that's just a general idea of what those cabins are going for. But I, you know, definitely contact me. I'll give you your your set pricing. And then if you want to go, you pay your deposit, you're all set and uh, you're on your way. And that is a good point. The deposits are only $200 for the cabin, but the balance will have to be paid by November the 20th at this point. And we're getting two months away from that. So around Radiothon, our Radiothon time. And you're right. looking at rates from five hundred to seven hundred dollars a person, basically. And that, but the neat part about the yeah. way ME, MEI quotes rates is that they do include the port fees, and the taxes, uh, and onboard gratuity. So that rates all inclusive. I know some people have asked; they've gone to the website and they've looked at the rates, and they go, "Well, the rates I'm finding on the website are less." Well, by the time you add all of those extras on, they're more. So yeah. you 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 definitely want to contact Michelle either by email or phone and we'll give that in a minute. Uh, so now we're doing the February, to give everybody details, or just hearing about it for the first time, this is a horse lover's cruise. This is not a seminar. This is horse people getting together to vacation and party. To be honest, this was my way of getting together with listeners to just have a good time. And yep. 
And and we have a lot more listeners signed up than I actually thought we would, so I'm, I'm thrilled about that, and thank you to everybody. But we are going to be doing some fun things, Michelle, on the ship as a group. We'll meet before dinner the first night. We'll all have dinner together every night if you want. Uh, we'll we'll be group, doing group dining together, or you can go out and, and, and enjoy any of the specialty restaurants that are there as well. But if you want to join the group, which will be the most fun, we'll be doing that together every night. And then we are going to do a meetup before dinner the first day, after everybody gets in, settled in in the ship. We're going to meet and introduce each other and have some fun. Then we're going to also do one of the day, nights, we're going to do a horse husbands meetup. So bring your husband. We're all going to get together and sit around and bitch about our wives. And then... <laughs> We're going to do this, and this is what we're most excited about. We were just talking about this. Uh, at 8 o'clock on Thursday night, I believe it is, Coco K night, which is Wednesday or Thursday, I can't remember. But we're going to, in the evening, we're, they've set aside a room for us on the ship that we're going to get together and play a little game show. So we're going to have Horse Radio Network style game show with all kinds of trivia and different games we're going to play. And it's going to be for prizes that are donated by our sponsors. I'm very excited about that. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. And definitely don't feel like you have to do the meetups, but most of the time when people get together, that's the funnest part for them to come meet everybody the first night, go to dinner. You're going to get excited every night to meet back up at dinner and tell everybody what you did that day. And and then the trivia is just going to be fun because who doesn't like games and who doesn't like prizes? That's right. That's what we're known for here at the Horse Radio Network. Right. <laughs> so so the yeah. other thing, too, is uh, I wanted to go over the stops quick. We've had some questions from people. Uh, because of the hurricanes, are our ports that we're going to stop, is our itinerary the same? And I guess the answer to that question is yes, so far. Yes, so far, yes. That can always change, and that is the right of the cruise line to protect us. So if they find that NASA suddenly has a problem with their port, they have the right to change it either to another day during our week or just cancel it out altogether. So you always have to know that. Anything cruising, it's always the protection of the clients they take into consideration first. But so far, our, all of our ports are open and sailing right now. I don't expect that to change before we go. And uh, just to review for everybody, we are leaving on February the 12th, which is a Monday. We depart to Port of Miami at 4 o'clock on the Enchantment of the Seas, Royal Caribbean, my favorite cruise line. And we're the day two, every day has a stop, a port. And day, the first day out, day two, is Nassau, the Bahamas. There, I... There is a trail ride at Happy Trail Stables. I know that uh, she has booked out the second ride of the day, but I think the 830 ride still has a couple of spots. And there's information about that where you can call to get those reservations at, at uh, horseloverscruise.com. I know Jennifer's and a bunch of listeners are going out on the 11 o'clock ride. And they're ride on the beach and their horses. We've talked to the lady. We've seen pictures. The horses are well kept and look like uh, fat, happy horses. So you can check that out too. The next day is Coco K, which is Royal Caribbean's private island. I got to tell you, when I take Royal Caribbean cruises, whether it's Labadee or Coco K, I love that's my favorite port stop every time. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Be- just a beach day and a lot of fun. They have food out there, they have drinks out there, and it's just, it's usually everybody's favorite day after they've done it. So I, I, I don't know great. why. It's just relaxing and it's beautiful because it's maintained yeah. by Royal Caribbean and it has Royal Caribbean crew on, on, on the island, which makes it extra hospitable. So I just love that. And then we're going to go support our good friends in Key West. Uh, Key West has already started to take Royal Caribbean ships back, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they already, yeah, they've, they're actually pretty much up and running. There are some outlining areas in the middle part of the Keys that they're still fixing up. But I think the downtown Duval Street area is up and running already. And we're going to do, and everybody's very excited about this, Leslie from Horse Nation, of course, ever Leslie, who did Mongol Derby riding Leslie, uh, I am Spartacus Leslie, will be leading a pub crawl along with Denise, our guest wrangler, through Key West. Denise goes to Key West about once a month and apparently has uh, drank drinks at every bar on Key West. Oh, so wow. they're leading the pub crawl. And from what I last I heard, it was to get 10 different alcoholic beverages at 10 bars in the time we have in port. So oh, dinner's going to be fun that night. Yeah. <laughs> so for the drinkers, you don't have to worry because they can wheel you back on a gurney That's to the right. boat. So, um, and then for those that don't drink, like I'm not allowed anymore, unfortunately, uh, those that don't drink, we're going to do another activity and another tour that day and just go check out all the sites of Key West. So it should be a lot of fun. And then on Friday, we're back to Miami. 
There is one other thing, too. If For those that are flying in the day before, we have a hotel book, don't we? We do, and we still have rooms available there. Um, I think we've got probably another 10 rooms available there. I can get more, hopefully. So definitely book. look at the hotel. Once you book, I send you that information about what that hotel is. You book it directly, and then I get copies of your uh, your bookings. But yeah, we can meet up that night in the hotel and just say hi, too. And that's right near the airport, and then we'll have transportation from that hotel to the dock. Correct. Okay, yeah. to the We're port. work on that. Yep. yep. All right, good. So, uh, and by the way, that night, too, we're all going to get together for dinner the night before the cruise. That's Sunday night. And who's ever staying at the hotel, we'll just get together and we'll just spend the night at the bar. You know, we'll have dinner and, <laughs> and hang out. We might as well start early, right? Um, and you know what? I don't care what Jennifer says in my stupid lime diet. I will be drinking a bit on this trip. I don't care what she says. <laughs> so, I might not be functional by Saturday, but uh, I'll have a good time in the meantime. This is the Enchantment of the Seas. Leaves on February the 12th, Royal Caribbean. We would love for you to join us. Come hang out with some horse people. We have a ton of people that have booked that are first-time cruisers. So if you're a little yeah. worried about going on a cruise, for the first time, this is the time to do it. Go with friends. It makes it so much more fun for your first time. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to, and we'll have a great time. We'll have, like I said, lots of different times to meet up. I'll have what are, what I call office hours. I can meet up with you anytime just to chat and say hi. Yeah, Michelle so will be along great. with us. I, I haven't met you yet I either, will. so I'm so I'm excited. With, yes, I'm coming with you. I'm trying to recruit another person too, so, you know, I may be. So, yeah, we can, we can even do things like uh you know, if people are willing to open up their cabins, we can have a time where you can look at an inside cabin or look at, I'm staying in a junior suite so you can come see what I haven't seen a like junior suite it. yet. I'm coming to your room. Yeah, so that would be kind of fun. If uh, We'll have a time we'll say, hey, you know, if you're willing to open up your cabin, come by and look. Here's my cabin. Here's what a balcony looks like. So when you book a cruise in the future, you'll know what kind of cabin you might want to get. So that's kind of fun to do, too. And MEI Travel is the leader in, in doing these kinds of trips. Uh, you know, people... Okay. People that uh, have the biggest podcasts out there for Royal Caribbean and Disney use MEI Travel, and there's a reason for that, and we're glad we did, too. Michelle has made this so easy. Where can people contact you to make their reservations? You can email me at michelle2ls at mei-travel.com, um, or you can call me 703-986-0661. Email I'm really fast with. I am going out of town next week, but I always answer my email. I always have a backup agent when I travel, so don't worry about that ever stopping you. And all those people who are booked, I'm going to be sending you more information about how to sign up online for a Royal Caribbean account. You need to do that, um, absolutely, to look at your cruise planner for finding out how to buy drinks or other kinds of shore tours you might want to do. And then you'll need that cru- that area also to register your passport or driver's license, whatever you're taking right before we sail. So I'm going to send out a link to people on how to sign up for that. For those of you that are booked, you need to do that pretty much now. Now. <laughs> so yeah. you can get used to what it's, what, what's in Plus there. Plus your shore reservations should be on there by now, and some of the activities on the ship should be on there by now. Exactly. So and that's where you get your drink packages. People have asked me about that. Like, how do I buy drinks? You can do it through the cruise planner. It's cheaper, 20% off. If you don't, you can buy it on board if you wish. Um, it's a flat rate per day, but it's cheaper to buy it online before you go and have it. And the Zoom, if you do want to have internet, you can buy that. They have a uh, surf and stream packages, and that's where you buy all that is through what's called your cruise planner, which is on your online reservation portal. So I will send out a link on how to sign up for that and get started on that if you haven't already done, done so. Very good. Go to horseloverscruise.com. Now, for those that are going, we're going to give you a little bonus. For those that are not interested, you can skip ahead about two minutes. We had a couple of questions here uh, from people who are going. Have the itinerary changed because of the hurricane? No, not at this point. Um, Also, there was a question from Dr. Wendy Ying. I should mention the hosts that are going. Dr. Wendy Ying will be there. And Leslie, of course, will be there from Horses in the Morning and Eventing in Horse Nation. I'll be there. Ron our legacy listener who has listened to all 6,300 episodes of the Horse Radio Network programming since day one. She is our cruise director. She will be there. Jennifer will be there. Denise, our guest wrangler, will be there. Our newest production coordinator, Jemmy, will be there. So there's a whole bunch of us going to be there. And uh, I have a question from Dr. Wendy Ying, and you're going to love this one. You're allowed to bring one bottle of wine per person, right, on board? Yes, in your checked luggage, yes. In your checked luggage, you can bring one bottle of wine. Wendy wants to know, are there people that are not drinkers? Can she stash bottles in their luggage? And the answer to that is yes. If you get them to agree to it, it's one bottle per person. 
for, uh, for, yes, yeah. for adults, so don't use your kids. <laughs> I don't think we have any kids going, do we? Um, if you bring it in your check bag that you run through the x-ray machine when you walk on, they will actually take it from you, but they will give it back to you at the end of the cruise. So don't do that. Don't do that. Put it, no. put it in your, your luggage luggage. Put it in your luggage. <clears throat> yeah. uh, this is an important one because for some reason, horse people try to be healthy. And I'm not sure why, Avery, you're doing that, but what the heck. Uh, she's a vegetarian, or and we have a lot of vegans even. They need yeah. to contact the ship ahead of time. How does that work? Well, they actually can contact me, um, and I will put a note in their system for them that they, you know, are vegan or kosher or whatever they are. They Royal Caribbean already has a lot of vegan dishes and gluten-free dishes, they do. sugar-free dishes yeah. on the ship. So you'll see signs, gluten-free desserts already, like up in the buffets. And then you can tell your server, when we get there the first night, I'm a diabetic, so if you are some like me, like a diabetic, or if you have a the CPAP machine you're bringing in, you need distilled water. Tell me that, and I write a note for that. They'll provide the water for you and a, an extension cord for your machine. You don't need to bring that with you. So anything like that, a dietary medical need, I'm, a, you know, like I said, I just tell my server I'm a diabetic, and they just, I just tell them I can't have sauces and things like that. That server at the table will actually tell the chef. So they're really good about communicating. But you tell me first, so I put a note in, and then you can talk to the waiter at the table where you're eating, too. But a lot of things are already, you can just tell, like, you can see gluten-free already. You can see a lot of vegetarian dishes already on the buffets and things like that. I had a fun question. Uh, Jason asked, how many desserts are we really allowed? Jason, as many as you like. The one night uh, for dinner, we said, bring us one of every dessert. We want to try them all. And they brought us, like, six plates. Yes, that's the best. That's the most fun to do. By the way, we didn't sleep that night because we were pretty much bouncing yeah. around the room. Um, <laughs> and then is uh, one other question is about the Internet package. You can get that ahead of time. You're going to be yeah. in some ports. I don't know about Nassau, but uh, obviously Key West, you'd be able to get Internet. Uh, it's a four-night four cruise. You know what? If you can live without it, do it because you'll be so glad that you're not just wired. That's true. You'll have to keep your phone on airplane mode when you're on the ship. That's a big thing because otherwise it'll keep trying to connect to the ship's internet. But when you're in Key West, like you said, Wi-Fi is available. There is Wi-Fi in Nassau. There's a Starbucks. They have Wi-Fi. There's a lot of bars there that have Wi-Fi. So if you want to go in and you have to check check in, there is Wi-Fi that you can get in Nassau. Um, Coco K, no. Again, it's going to be part of the ship's network, but um, but there is there are options. Um, put it that way. And I will have connection all the time. So if you need to send an email quickly to home, absolutely reach out to me. Very good. Thank you, everybody. We look forward to seeing you on the cruise in February. Thank you, Michelle. You've been terrific. No problem. Can't wait to see everyone. Thanks, Glenn. Horseloverscruise.com. Here we are at the product review section of the Stable Scoop show, brought to you by the good folks at horselovers.com, which is where these products come from. We get these products from horselovers.com, and our listeners and auditors give them the rundown, use them for a little while, and then come on the Stable Scoop show and tell us whether or not they liked them and what they loved about them. So this time, I've got Charlotte Merle Smith with me. And she's going to tell us about the Lamisel Full Shock Absorbing Memory Pad, which, in fact, is a half pad, despite the name. So tell me about this pad. So it, um, it looks great, and it feels great, and it fits really well. Oh, um, I like that. Now, is it, is it um, it's your typical half pad, which only, co- only goes underneath, basically, the panels of the saddle. Yes. Yes. Um, now, when is it one of those that is flat when you get it, and then you have to force it to conform to a horse's back shape, or does it have that nice fold in half, kind of a more er- more ergonomic shape? It has the fold in half, so it has the crease down the middle. Oh, that makes it easier um, to put on. So, so you can pull it up in the cantle and everything when you put the saddle on. Yeah. Um, and it um. There was no squishing needed. Like, it was definitely, like, formed to my saddle and formed to my horse's back. Oh, that's useful. Now, it's made yep. from, it says here, I'm just reading the description on uh, horselovers.com. 
It has it's memory foam. Uh, lightweight. It's got gel inside. Now, when you when you play with it, do you touch it? Can you tell that there's gel inside? No. Well, I mean, you can. It's about I don't know. I'm so bad at sizes. It's maybe half an inch thick. Oh, so it's pretty it's thick. It's, is thick. it th- is it thicker yeah, than thick. like a um, a no slip pad or a chamois? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so it's a thicker type of a pad. Okay. Yeah. Now, what kind um, of what kind of a saddle did you use it under? I used it under my dressage saddle. As I'm a para rider, um, so I ride dressage quite competitively. But it uh, so um, that was probably the main downfall with me. I think that I used it in dressage saddle. I wanted to be able to have it. Um, prior to getting hurt, I was uh, I did three day eventing for a living. And so I rode tons of different horses. This would be in one day. This would be the fabulous pad to have if you had to have the same saddle on a bunch of different horses. Um, and I think more of a jump pad. Um, at least for my saddle that was already fitted to my horse, I didn't need that much room or that uh, much. So it was too pad. much of a good thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> you could like have too much padding, to right? Like it, felt, it felt like um, one of those things that you'd want as like a top bar on your mattress or something. <laughs> sleep on. Yeah. So you could sleep <laughs> on it. You could put a pillowcase on it in a pinch. I could. You're right. I could. So this is this is a yeah. substantive pad. So if you've got a saddle that has been custom flocked to your horse, it might not be a smart option for you. Well, no, I ride in a thin line pad, so I have a small pad. Right. So yours and is I thin. I use a regular, yeah. Yeah. a regular saddle pad, and then a ha- another half pad, a thin line pad. So um, this was just more pad than I was used. To. I felt like I was way on top of my horse. Um, <laughs> Well, I think only because it was fitted, my style was already fitted, so I didn't need that much right. material. Right, right. But if you have a, a saddle and a, a saddle fit and a horse that really needs some extra um, shock absorbing between the saddle and the horse, it might be a good fit. And it is is the oh, I think it'd be, I think it'd be great. Yeah, is the foam is the foam covered with like a cloth covering so it's durable? Oh, yeah, yeah. It has, um, yeah, the covering and the feel of it is great. Um, I guess the downside to that is I got a white one, um, ah! which is, uh, <laughs> it was tough to use in an everyday situation. Because, um, yeah, so as we, just, as we you know, know from your previous show, reviews, you might get a Charlotte, black one. <laughs> you're, a cl- you're a very clean equestrian. Everything's clean. Clean. Well, actually yeah. it is, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the white was still tough. Yeah. So you're you're suggesting get the black one, huh? Yeah. Yeah, get the black one. So it's the Lamcell full shock absorbing memory pad, which in fact is a memory foam half pad, which uh gets good marks for durability, good marks because it fits comfortably underneath of your saddle, but be careful you're not getting this pad to put under a saddle that has too close a fit because it's going to be too much. Or make you feel like you're way up on top of your horse rather than being able to feel your horse. And we don't want that. So there we go. Thank you very yeah. much, Charlotte Merle Smith. And as we you're do welcome. this interview, uh, the horselovers.com website from whence this came has the Lamisel full shock absorbing memory pad for sale for $46. Well, that's it for this week, everybody. We'll be back in two weeks with the finals of Our Equestrians Have Talent. And we'll have all three entries for you. You'll be able to vote on them, as well as I'm going to have the first story. Remember, we told you we're going to be starting to tell stories in kind of the micro Paul Harvey style, where you don't know who it is till the end. We're going to be doing that about horses and riders from history. So I'll have the first one of those for you in two weeks as well. We're looking forward to it. And we'll see you then. Don't forget, you can get all the shows on the Horse Radio Network at horseradionetwork.com or download the app. 
iOS or Android, just search for Horse Radio Network. It's free and it's easy to use. If you want to become an auditor and be part of the Super Secret Auditors Facebook page, which is probably the best Facebook group in the country, you can uh, just do that by donating a dollar a month to our hosts. It gets divided up amongst the hosts. And you can do that by going to horseradionetwork.com and clicking on the auditor banner on the right side of the page. For as little as a dollar a month, you too can be able to try products here on the Stable Scoop Show and also you can become one of the auditors and hang out in that cool room. Next year, we're going to be doing auditor roundtables on the Stable Scoop Show as well, where you get together with your other auditors on the air and talk about topics of interest. That's all coming up here on Stable Scoop. Thank you, everybody. We'll talk to you again in two weeks.